November 30th, 2025, NASA just released a new Hubble image of 3i Atlas, and the object everyone spent months insisting was just a comet, is now doing something comets simply do not do. At the center of the image sits a tight, concentrated core. Around it, a 60,000-kilometer anti-tail pointing straight toward the sun. And under enhancement filters, two distinct jets fire outward from opposite sides of the nucleus. But here's the part no one can gloss over. That structure, that geometry, that exact anti-tail, matches precisely what Professor Avi Loeb predicted in a paper published before the image was taken. Not roughly, not close enough, exact. Meanwhile, hundreds of millions of kilometers away, ESA's JUICE probe captured the same object from a completely different angle, and JUICE saw things Hubble couldn't. Plasma separation, layer dust flow, and active outgassing extending far outside Hubble's zoomed frame. If you've been following the inconsistencies surrounding 3i Atlas, and you feel like the official natural comet explanation keeps getting thinner and thinner, you're not imagining it. Hit subscribe and smash that like button, because the data that just dropped is the clearest contradiction yet. When Hubble locked onto 3i Atlas on November 30th, the object was about 286 million kilometers from Earth, roughly a month after perihelion, the point where comets normally fall apart. After a close pass near the Sun, a natural comet should look chaotic. Surface fractures, elongated cores, fragment clouds, unstable jets. Everything about perihelion pushes a nucleus toward instability. But the new Hubble image shows the opposite. The core is sharp and concentrated. No elongation, no fractures, no debris signature drifting off axis. If internal cracks existed, Hubble's F3 50 LP filter on the WFC3 camera would have picked them up immediately. Instead, the core holds steady while the surrounding glow expands outward as a smooth, perfectly symmetric halo nearly 40,000 kilometers wide. For an object fresh out of the most violent heating phase of its orbit, that level of stability is not normal. Natural comets wobble, they fragment, they erode unevenly. A atlas is calm in the middle, while everything around it continues to grow. And that's what makes this image so important. It's not showing what comets do after perihelion. It's showing something holding together far better than the models predict. But Hubble only saw the inner region. ESA's JUICE probe, however, captured a much wider view. JUICE wasn't even using a science imager, just a navigation camera meant for orientation. Yet the frame revealed two structures that don't match Hubble's symmetry at all. The first is a narrow streak rising away from the nucleus. That's ionized plasma being pushed directly by the solar wind. The second is a broader, heavier dust layer, angled differently and moving more slowly. When plasma and dust separate in one frame, there's only one conclusion. The object is releasing fresh material right now. Ionized gas blows straight back under solar wind pressure. Dust lags behind and spreads differently. Both tails in the same frame means ongoing activity. Not an old trail, not leftover debris, but a live interaction between the object and the sun. Two spacecraft, two angles, one story. Stability inside, motion outside. Then the enhanced processing changed everything again. Run the Hubble exposure through an unsharp mask and the perfect symmetry breaks. There's tilt, distortion, subtle asymmetry. Apply a Larson filter designed to reveal rotational gradients in the inner coma and a hidden structure snaps into view. Two jets erupt from the core in opposite directions. One fires sunward, the other fires away forming a precise anti-tail. Anti-tails are extremely rare. Dust is not supposed to line up directly toward the sun unless the object is spinning in a locked, stable way and releasing material in a predictable pattern. In other words, the filter exposes the underlying engine driving the activity, whatever that engine is. And now comes the moment that makes this more than just an unusual comet image. Before November 30th, before NASA took this picture, before anyone saw this geometry, Avi Loeb published a paper predicting exactly what Hubble would show. He modeled a scenario where 3i Atlas released a swarm of small fragments near perihelion, particles influenced by non-gravitational forces. His calculations showed that by late November, these fragments would drift sunward, forming a bright 60,000-kilometer anti-tail in a teardrop shape. The new Hubble image matches his prediction perfectly. Same length, same shape, same position, relative to the sun. 
This isn't vague resemblance. This is predictive accuracy. Loeb wrote the model. NASA took the image. And the universe drew the exact shape he described. Natural outgassing does not produce mathematically precise behavior. Sublimation is chaotic by definition. If Atlas were venting randomly, Hubble should have seen unpredictable, asymmetric jets. Instead, the data follows a pattern that Loeb described before it happened. That level of precision is not what you expect from a tumbling ice ball. It's what you expect when the forces involved are directional, consistent, and governed by something more stable than sublimation. Then the chemistry enters the picture. Spectroscopy reveals a nickel to iron ratio, around 10 mu1 in the metallic fraction, a value closer to engineered alloys than typical comet composition. Comets form beyond the frost line, where heavy metals do not accumulate. They are mostly water ice, carbon compounds, and silicate dust. If you detect strong nickel or cobalt signatures, something is wrong with the classification. Atlas shows metallic enrichment and unusually low water content about 4%. Natural comets range between 70% and 80% water ice. Atlas is far too dry to behave like a comet and far too metal rich to fit the category at all. Add the deeply negative optical polarization, rare even among exotic cometary objects, and the chemical profile starts to look like something entirely distinct. Then there's the energy problem. Jets extending millions of kilometers require mass flux far beyond what a nucleus of Atlas's estimated size could sustain. To power that kind of continuous outflow with standard physics, the nucleus would need to be losing material at catastrophic levels. But Hubble shows a stable core, no breakup, no fragmentation, no mass deficit. X-ray detections complicate it further. Comets only produce X-rays when large amounts of gas interact with the solar wind. But Atlas is dry, low water, low volatiles, yet strong X-ray signatures. The energy budget doesn't close. Then, the motion. Non-gravitational acceleration values reported earlier in the year show velocity changes that cannot be explained by visible mass loss. A comet must shed large amounts of gas to push itself. Atlas shows acceleration without shedding the required mass. The orbital sequence raises more questions. Multiple close encounters with Mars, Venus and Jupiter, along an unusually clean alignment. An approach along the ecliptic plane, rare for interstellar objects. A projected origin region consistent with the coordinates of the famous WOW signal. Coincidence? Maybe. Maybe not. NASA promised that the full Hubble dataset, including ultraviolet spectroscopy, will drop soon. UV is the key to deciphering the real chemistry. If the spectra show unusual isotopic ratios, elemental mixtures, or compounds unknown in natural comets. The narrative changes forever. Juice's upcoming passes may reveal whether the anti-tail contains large solid fragments instead of dust. If it does, Loeb's perihelion fragment hypothesis becomes testable. Visibility should drop around December 19th when the geometry shifts, then surge again near the Jupiter encounter in March 2026. If the predictions match the observed behavior, the case gets stronger. Piece by piece, the evidence is stacking up. X-ray emission, metallic composition, predictive modeling, plasma and dust separation, locked rotation, anti-tail geometry, non-gravitational acceleration, energy outputs far beyond normal sublimation. Each anomaly alone has explanations, but together, they form a pattern that doesn't resolve cleanly into just a comet. We may be looking at exotic chemistry, a differentiated planetary fragment, a type of interstellar object we've never classified, or something further outside the box, something that forces us to update the box entirely. So here's the question. With the Hubble data, the JUICE confirmation, and Loeb's prediction aligning perfectly, do you still think 3i Atlas is a comet? Drop your theory below. Subscribe so you don't miss the UV spectroscopy update. And share this with someone who needs to see the data, because the next release could change everything.